Good morning and welcome to In Life with Fitness. It's a very gray Friday morning here in Southern California. First we're going to use high intensity body weight interval training to cultivate both the body of a tantric sex god and then we're going to use guided meditation to cultivate both the heart and the mind of a Buddha. Now if this is your first time tuning in, you probably have many, many questions about warming up, exercise, nutrition, as well as sitting and meditation. All the questions you have are answered in the links that are found below the video. About three or four inches below the video, there's a little button that reads show more. Click that and it reveals all the links. So if this is your first time tuning in, <coughs> you'll want to you'll find, you'll, you'll use those links to go to one of my web pages that lists many, many, many of these videos. The videos are organized by length of workout and by length of meditation. Find a meditation that's only three minutes long. That's your best, then find one that's six minutes long, then find one that's nine minutes long, and do it gradually. All right, let's dig in. Woof! of Indian inspired 12 phase sun salutation. Now that we're warmed up, let's play with four circuits. Circuit one. First squat. Thrust. First pull. Second circuit. Second squat. Second press.
second thrust. Second pull. Third circuit. Third squat. Third press. Third thrust. Third pull. Fourth and final circuit. Fourth squat. Fourth press. Fourth thrust. Fourth and final pull. Let's get some water. All right. About two days ago. Our guided meditation was for 21 minutes. Today it'll be for approximately 24 minutes. Just as a pendulum and a grandfather clock swings to the right and swings to the left, all 
power contemplative exercises. I'm going to swing to Metta's loving kindness, and then Vipassana's awareness and letting go. That's the way the mind works. It's always a mistake to confuse Buddhist teachings with Hindu teachings or Taoist teachings. Buddha never taught mind blame. So never said to you, all the religions are the same. Merely the, the names have been changed. They're incorrect. There's a huge difference between what Lao Tzu, between uh, Yogacara, and be, I'm sorry, between uh, um, oh, what's his name, Pantanjali, and between what Buddha taught. Huge difference. I'm not saying one's better than the other, but I'm saying they're different. For instance, if you want to make a really good fruit salad, don't use a recipe for meatloaf. You'll get different results. Water, beverage of choice. Left hand in lap, palm up. Right hand in left, palm up. Thumbs do not touch. The touching of the thumbs comes from Taoism, not from Buddhism. On the in breath, we're going to ask the cryptic rhetorical question How wise good? On the out breath, we're going to silent. And by the way, we're going to ask the question silently and mentally. On the out breath, we're going to silently and mentally recite the intention release. We do not answer these questions. We simply ask them and relax. How wise good releasing. Effectiveness of these contemplations is directly proportional to the quality of the breathing. The, the deeper you breathe in, the more you really feel like you're relaxing on the, on the breath out. Now, of course, we don't want to breathe so deeply that we get dizzy and fall over and scare the cat. We don't want to breathe so superficially that we feel nothing. We want to find that happy medium, but as a rule, quality breath means quality meditation. Second contemplation. Once again, it's a rhetorical question. We don't have to, we, we're not supposed to answer. How wise feel releasing. Metas, loving kindness meditations are all about giving. So first we notice whether we want to give wisdom. So we first we spent the first meditation verifying that wisdom is a good gift to give. Then we use our creativity to access our imagination and explore what wisdom could feel like. And then we start by giving to ourselves. And you might say, hey, that's selfish, but guess what? We're all selfish. If we ignore our selfishness, nothing good comes from it. If we indulge our selfishness, it always runs in tears. But what we're going to do is harness the momentum of our selfishness and use that to feed our universal love for others. So, third exercise. Now to me, give wisdom. Now to some, 
give wisdom. Now to all, give wisdom. Now to each, give wisdom. Now we're going to shift into the one syllable paradigm. Each why. Now we're going to do, the pendulum's going to swing to the left, we're going to do a little vipassana practice where we explore awareness and then letting go. There are many contemplative traditions that explore love. What's uniquely Buddhist is after exploring love, letting go of it. So we begin with a rhetorical question, what seeing breath we intend releasing yes even though your eyes are closed what seeing releasing what hearing releasing What feeling releasing? On the in breath, how could this on the out breath be funny? Remember, these are rhetorical questions. It is not our job to answer. Grin with lips, releasing. Grin with cheeks, releasing. Grin with eyes, releasing. The highest 
contemplation is noticing, relaxing. This is powerful because we're not telling the brain what to look for. Right? We're inviting ourselves to just passively notice what we experience, circumstantially, physically, emotionally, intellectually, harmonically, creatively, whatever we experience, we're just aware of it and let go of it. In Tibet, this is called naked awareness. Noticing, relaxing. it to its one syllable version. This is. The pendulum on the imaginary grandfather clock swings to the right. And now we turn our attention back again to Meta's, M E T T A, Meta's loving kindness. So this time it's the kindness that chooses to lovingly wish everyone great peace. Because wisdom gives birth to peace. So we start with the rhetorical question, how peace good, and then intend releasing. Now we imagine, we elicit our imagination with the following rhetorical question, how peace feel, and then on the out breath we intend releasing. Start the giving with ourselves. Now to me, give great peace. Now to some, give great peace. Peace. Remember, love is not what we feel. Love is our intention, our will, our volition. Now to some, give great peace.
now to all give great peace. Now to each give great peace. Each peace. The imaginary, the pendulum of the imaginary clock swings to the left, and we return our attention to Vipassana's union of awareness and letting go. What's seeing, releasing. What hearing, releasing. What feeling, releasing. How could this be for me? Never underestimate the power of not taking ourselves seriously. How could this be for me? Grin with cheeks, releasing. Grin with eyes, releasing. Noticing, relaxing.
pendulum swings to the right, and we return to Meta's love and kindness that this time gives everyone even greater love for others. Now remember, love is not what you feel, although it can occasionally affect how you feel. Love describes our intention to meet others' needs in the most empowering way. How love good releasing. You may notice that the 12 minutes have passed, you may feel substantially more peaceful and more centered and more quiet than you did when you began. How love feel releasing. of good releasing. Give to me love for all. Now to some, give to some love for all. Give to all love for each. Give to each love for all. Each love. Pendulum swings to the left, and we return to Vipassana's exploration of awareness and letting go. 
what's seeing really seeing? You could think of it this Meta's concentration sets the stage for Vipassana's letting go. Vipassana's letting go sets the stage for a Meta's concentration. So they complement each other back and forth. What hearing really sings. What feeling really sings? How could this be funny? Last night I came back from the position very, very frustrated with his, what I felt was his gross negligence. And so this meditation, as simple as it is, proved, proved to be a great tool in letting go of those painful emotions. Grin with lips, releasing. Grin with cheeks, releasing. Grin with eyes, releasing. Noticing, relaxing. Pendulum swings to the right. And now we practice Meta's loving kindness that intends to lavish everyone with joy. How joy good, releasing. joy feel releasing now let's switch
this to the one syllable paradigm. Me, Joe. Some joy. Each joy. Here, free. Sorry, see, free. Here, free. Feel free. How fun. This is concludes our 24 minute guided meditation. I invite you to now join me for a gentle set of geriatric yoga entitled Untying the Heart's Knots.
please lace your hands behind your tush, open your chest, and twist to the left. Why give lines? Releasing. Please reverse. Now, now to each, give wisdom. Back to center. Please release the hands. Lace them in the lap. Swing them out and now overhead. Please bend to the left. Why give peace? Releasing. Please reverse. Now to each, give great peace. Back to the center. Let's make our way into downward facing fetal position, which is of course also known as child's pose. Give to all, love for each. Curl hands into fists. Set your fists as if you were going to punch a yoga mat just above your knees. Rapidly strain your arms so the momentum carries you into the seated samurai position, which is of course also known as lion's pose. Please lace your hands behind your your fingers behind your tush. Open your chest. Drop your head. Roll your gaze up. What here? What seeing? Releasing. What hearing? Releasing. What feeling really seen? Please release your fingers. Please cup your palms. Gently press them together. So the center of each palm is hovering before the upper third of your chest. Please relax your shoulders down and use your hands to twist to the left. Why give joy releasing? Back to the center, relax the shoulders down. Use the hands to twist to the right. Now to each, give great joy. Back to center. Let's walk our way ourselves forward into the hands and knees position in preparation for the cat-cow asana. Open mouth, slack jaw, and now to each, give comfort. Please stand up. Please balance your weight on the major minor ball of each foot behind the big end of the toe. Get a supple bend in the knees. Pinch the hips forward, lace the fingers behind the tush, open the chest, drop the head, roll the gaze up. How could this be funny? Grin with cheeks, releasing. Noticing, relaxing. Now join me for a few repetitions of Indian-inspired 12-phase sun salutation 
the recitation that we're going to read during these, uh, this final portion is found in the links below the video. But this virtue may now accomplish the spontaneous perfection of the unexpected mastery of Buddha's mental yoga. Of wisdom, peace, love, and joy. And now lead every living being, without exception to this world, may everyone be healthy, wealthy, and happy. May everyone practice skillfully and joyfully. May everyone accomplish Chimere Zig in this life, and then help many others do likewise. For truly that is the meaning of life. Om Mani Padme Let's conclude with two repetitions of Vietnamese in the style of that. be cared for throughout all my lives by the Buddha of compassion emanating as my highest teaching. And as such, may I always enthusiastically and joyfully tread this excellent path made by the proper word. Let's see here. Alright, I'm going to get closer to the camera for a minute. Okay, my friends, I thank you for your time and your kind attention. May you and yours be healthy and happy. Om Mani Padme Hum. Before you go, do remember to subscribe, as well as click, you see, the like button and the share button. Remember, I told you about those links below the video. One of those links will help you keep this month fed, which is quite lovely, but not mandatory. And another link will help you to um, register for the next series of weekly webinars. When do they begin? Monday. Bye-bye.